Today we're exploring the vessel utility you'll find in MetQ. First we'll create a separator tank and uh, here you can define the design. Make sure that uh, Draw 3D is turned on. We can also add custom nozzles here. Once everything is set, we simply select Draw and it inserts the tank as shown. Next we'll uh, be creating an expansion tank. Same kind of thing, your design menu and your nozzle utility. Uh, simply select the nozzle size, uh, the length position, the radius position, and the uh, face height. All these dimensions relate to the, uh, the little uh, illustration on the left. So for our second nozzle, we'll define the settings here. And simply uh, we enter two points and the tank inserts into the drawing. Now we'll put some uh, L brackets underneath the tank. Uh, we go into our sections utility, select the size, and uh, on this we'll turn the zero fillet option on, selecting the angle, and then defining the two points, and then You'll notice MetQ will ask you in the dialog to roll, so we'll roll it at 90 degrees. And then for the ends, we can do the same sort of thing, uh, just selecting two points. And then rolling at 180 degrees. Now we just simply copy this configuration down so we have two of them. And now we'll rotate the bottom brackets uh, so we flip them over. Now it's just a simple uh, adjustment moving the configuration all the way to the bottom of the floor or the skid assembly. and then checking it in our viewport to make sure that it's aligned correctly. Now we're going to uh, go back into our sections utility and create the uh, vertical bracing. Again, it's the same kind of thing. We're entering in two points. And then on this one we're going to uh, mirror it and then roll it 180 degrees and simply copy that same configuration over into each corner. We can simply create a bill of materials for this. Uh, we'll select the fields configuration, make sure all our fields are turned on and then we create the bomb. Here we can see our lengths, our, the members that we've used, and the total weight. We have the option of exporting this to Excel, which we'll show in a later video. Thanks for watching.